assistance. I'm Miss Mon Mon, welcome to my channel. Today we are kicking off Valentine's Day month, February, with a vintage cooking adventure. Now this isn't so much cooking as opposed to brewing delicious kinds of tea because I found an ad from 1947 for A&P Tea Company and it gives us three delicious Valentine's Day tea recipes which I thought would be fun to test. Now I drink a lot of tea. It is probably my beverage of choice. You know how the human body is 85% water? I'm pretty sure I'm 85% tea. The a and Tea Company was around since the 1800s, but unfortunately it filed for bankruptcy back in 2015 and the teas are no longer available. The ad prefers nectar tea and Mayfair, yeah, Mayfair tea but I can't even figure out what type of tea that is. So the base for my tea will just be a plain old black tea. My go-to choice for black tea at the moment is Barry's tea, just because I miss living in Ireland. So I will be making that as the basis for all three of these tea recipes. So if you are in the mood for some Valentine's Day tea, go and make yourself a cuppa and let's set up for a little tea party. The first thing we need to do is make some tea. So I am of course boiling my water and adding it to one little pouch of Barry's tea. This is quite a strong tea, so I think that just the one tea bag is enough for this entire pot. And depending on the recipes, this is the main pot I will be having my tea from. The first tea recipe is called Valentine Honey. To your teacup, add one slice of lemon, a few cloves, and a stick of cinnamon. Add about a teaspoon of honey, and of course you can make it as sweet as you like it. Muddle your ingredients together. Now I don't have a muddler, so I'm just going to poke it awkwardly with my teaspoon. Then add your black tea and serve. I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes and we are going to complete the other two recipes and then try them all together. The next tea recipe is called the mint cup. Now, I really don't like mint. The two things I really don't like in life are celery and mint. Mint in my family, for some reason, certain women in my family just get really nauseous and sick from eating mint and I'm just one of those. So instead of going out and wasting a whole jar of mint jelly, I popped into the garden as I'm oddly growing a lot of mint and just pick some fresh sprigs. So that's what I'll be using instead of mint jelly. Prepare your tea according to the packet directions and then add two teaspoons of mint jelly. Of course, I added my sprigs and this will replace the sugar. Then add in a slice of lemon and top with a heart shaped maraschino cherry. The final tea recipe is called Hearts and Flowers and for that one we need to do it on the stove. So let's quickly pop over to the kitchen. In a small saucepan, boil a quarter cup of sugar and half a cup of water. Then add two inch cinnamon sticks for about five minutes. Remove the cinnamon sticks and then add half a cup of pineapple juice and half a cup of orange juice. Then add two tablespoons of lemon juice. Let that simmer for a little bit. Once you're happy with it, pour that mixture into your teapot and add three cups of strong hot tea. Garnish with a slice of nougat and a heart-shaped cherry. 
We have our three teas ready to go, so let's try our first one, which is Valentine Honey. Mmm, yum. It tastes like Christmas. <laughs> It tastes a little bit like Christmas. Now I've been adding cinnamon to my tea for years. It's a European thing, especially in the winter. And it just tastes like beautiful snowy days in Europe. And even though it is boiling hot outside, it's just a wonderful smelling and tasting tea. I kind of think I should cut out the lemon rind as it's quite an overpowering taste and I want more cinnamon and clove versus lemon rind. So if that's something that bothers you, that would be my tip for this one. But apart from that, absolutely delicious and super easy. You just sort of chuck everything into a teapot and let it chill. And the next tea we're trying is the mint cup. I mean, she smells beautiful. Ooh. There's a lot more lemon flavor in this one. I'm sure that if you actually added the mint jelly, it would be a lot more minty, but this is probably the level of mint that I can stand without wanting to be sick in half an hour's time. I'm not picking up the maraschino cherry. Like I'm sure it's just there for a garnish, but after having to drive all the way to the middle of nowhere at eight o'clock at night, I wanted to taste a little bit of the maraschino cherry. I'm gonna add a little bit more maraschino to it. Yep, there it is, that's it. Add some maraschino juice and one extra cherry. Don't worry about cutting it, just add the whole cherry. That is good. With the mint cup, I cut the lemon to sort of look the same way it did on the advert and the reduction in lemon rind actually made a huge difference. So my theory stands, Cut out the lemon rind, it'll change the flavor. Add more maraschino. The final tea we have is hearts and flowers. I was a little bit stumped by the add a slice of nougat. Nougat, 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 nugget, nougat. I am not sure what nougat looked like in the 1940s, whether it was more of that marshmallow texture in a bar. I know today it's not overly popular unless you're eating your Snickers. Wait, do, this, do Snickers still have nougat? I haven't had a chocolate bar in a while. <laughs> so the best I could find was this packet. And of course it has some almonds in it and that's the best I could find. So that's what we will try and use. I'm really excited to give this one a go. It was a very complex way of making tea. That is mind-blowingly good. <laughs> she is definitely sweet. I mean, there's a quarter cup of sugar in an entire pot of three cups of tea. That's a lot of sugar. So I would probably reduce that to maybe a tablespoon and a half or two tablespoons, depending on how sweet you like your tea. She is fruity. She tastes more like a cocktail than a tea. So maybe if you're not a drinker like myself, maybe this will be like, your new mocktail kind of thing. Taste the cinnamon in the background, but all the sweetness from the juice is enough to sort of carry all the flavors through. I can actually taste the nougat. Nougat, nugget. Why am I doing this again? It does have a very slight almond flavor, which I really like. And once again, the maraschino cherry is there, I would add another one personally, but I like maraschino cherries. <laughs> that was actually a lot of fun. I was worried that because I wasn't cooking, it wouldn't be as exciting, but I actually had a really good time just making some fancy tea from the 1940s. I can definitely see myself making these teas again. I might tweak it here and there, such as cutting out the lemon rind, cutting down on sugar, and adding a little bit more maraschino cherry. But overall, yum. This one's really, really good. I will have all of these recipes and photographs as well as more information up on my blog, which you can find in the description box below. But I will also be turning each one of these into little reels. I'm trying to get back into reels. I've taken long enough of a break on Instagram. So I will be back there very soon. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate your company and I've loved having you here. 
I hope you are all getting very excited for Valentine's Day. I have a little bit more Valentine's Day content coming up for you just to get us all in the mood for the season of love. Even if you don't have someone for Valentine's Day, it can just be a day of self-care and showing yourself some love, even if it's just taking a bath with a very, very fancy bath bomb. Totally counts, totally counts. I will see you guys all next week with a brand new video, but until then, be kind, be true, be you. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will be doing a Q&A as asked by popular demand. So if you have any questions you'd like me to answer on camera, please leave them in the comments below. Just please put the words Q&A at the beginning, just so I don't go ahead and respond too early. I mean, that's a thing that I would totally do by accident. I will see you guys all then. Have a beautiful week. Bye. Got it. Success. So, fun story. I didn't realize that maraschino cherries just aren't really popular in Australia. So I can't just go to my local Woolies and get one. I had to go to a bottle shop called Dan Murphy's, which is quite popular, but there's none in my area. And of course, the first one I went to, they didn't have any, yay. So I had to go to a second one. So because we have to do that contact tracing, if I were to get COVID, someone's going to be like, why is this woman driving to all these bottle shops at eight o'clock at night? Does she have a problem? And I just want to put out, it was for maraschino cherries, I swear. So there's my attempt at a love heart maraschino cherry. Is it a cat head? Brian! Why can't I have nice things? Nougat. 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 Why are you so difficult to pronounce? I am so sweaty.